in this example, I'm just going to demonstrate how you can write simple functions in um, JES or in Python. So um, the idea of a function is that you can put a group of statements together in a single unit or what your textbook sometimes calls a recipe that you can reuse over and over again. Um, so we're going, going to write some uh, example functions with parameters. So the first one we're going to write is the cube function. And you always start a function with uh, the command def, the reserved word def, cube. And we're going to pass it a parameter x. And then you always want to indent all of the statements that go inside the function. So um, this is a pretty simple one. We're just going to assign an answer. equal to x times x times x. I put spaces in there, but you don't have to. And then we're just going to return the answer. So this is a pretty simple function. We're just taking the parameter x and we're cubing it and returning that answer. So um, before I can execute that function, I have to load my program. So I'm going to click load. Now, the first time that you do this, it's going to ask you if you want to, uh, or it's going to say that you have to save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And you can just save your files um, wherever makes sense uh, for, for you. If you could create a folder on your desktop. You could create a folder in your documents um, folder on your machine. Um, it's just up to you, whatever whatever makes sense for you. I am going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call it CSCI115. And I'm just going to save all of my files for this class in that folder. So as long as you're consistent, um, it, it's pretty easy to keep up with where things are. And I'm just going to call this oh, simple functions. Whatever you name it, be sure to put a .py on the end, and don't put any spaces in the name. If you want to use multiple words in the name of your file, I recommend capitalizing individual words, but mushing them all together into a single, single um, word. Don't put spaces in there. I'm going to hit Enter. So now I can load the program, now that I've saved it, and then I can run this program by typing cube, and then I can pass it whatever I want, for example, 4. And it's going to return 64, or 4 times 4 times 4. I can call cube 3, and it's going to return 27, or cube 2.5. And so the cube function is just multiplying the parameter together um, and returning the, the cube. So let's write a couple more. So um, if I want to pass more than um, one parameter to a function, I can do that. Now I want to be sure to start my next function. I want to, uh, don't want to indent it. I want it to be even with the DEF above for my cube function. So this one I'm just going to say exam average. So I'm going to pass three parameters, exam one, and all you do is just separate them by commas, exam two and exam three, and I'm going to put a colon, and then in here I'll just compute the average of those, and I'll just add up exam one plus exam two plus exam three and divide them by 3.0. I'm going to divide by 3.0 so that I get a floating point result. Um, that is, it keeps any values after the decimal point. Remember, if I take integer values and I divide them by an integer, I'm going to get an integer result. And then I'll just return my average. And again, before, if I try to run this right now, if I try to say exam average uh, 88, 92, uh, 95. It's going to say it doesn't know what it is. I get an error message. That's because I always have to load my program before I can run it. Once I've saved it once, I can just hit load and uh, just resave it in the same file. 
So now if I, I try to do exam average, and a shortcut for rerunning a command that you've already typed on the command line is to hit the up arrow key on your keyboard. So if you don't want to have to type all of that again, and I hit enter and I see that the average is 91.66. Um, let's write a few more. So another thing I might want to do is compute the area of a circle. So maybe I'm past a radius and I want to compute the area of the circle 2 times pi which is predefined. Notice it turns purple there. That's a predefined uh, or a, a constant that's defined in the language so I don't have to uh, specify what pi is. 2 times pi times radius times radius, and again I can return the area. And I have to load again, and so now I can do something like find out what the circle area of a circle with a radius of 4.5 is, and it'll return the circle area. Oh, uh, here I have a syntax error. I misspelled radius. So if I try to use a variable on the right-hand side of an assignment statement and I've misspelled it, that's a common error there. So be careful. Again, I'm going to hit the up arrow to get my command back, and now it works. So be careful misspell. If you misspell variable names, you're going to get um, an error message like I just saw. Um, another thing that you can do is you can call one function from another. So let's say, for example, I just have a simple little function that says called happy, and all it does, I'm not passing any parameters to it, all it does is print happy birthday to you. Our functions will typically have parameters, but they don't have to. And if they don't, and they also don't have to have a return value. We can just have a function that does something, in this case, just prints happy birthday to you, load my program, and I just call happy. And even though I'm not passing it anything, I need to put the parentheses to indicate that I'm calling a function. Now, I did this just to illustrate that we can call one function from another. So for example, if I want to write a, a method called birthday song, and I can pass it someone's name. And then if I say happy, happy, so this is just gonna call my happy birthday to you. I'm just gonna print that and then I can print happy birthday, dear name. And if I want to print more than one thing, I can just put commas between the different things that I want to print, exclamation point, and then I can call happy again. So I can call my functions multiple times inside of another function if I want to, load my program, and then I can call birthday song. And then in a string, I'll put like Mike, and it'll say, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Mike, so forth. So um, this is the, these are just some examples of some really simple functions. We'll be doing some more complex ones that are past uh, images and, uh, or file names. But right now, this is just an example of some simple functions. And so you should give it a try and try writing these and some others of your own.